This is Floss TV Africa, where big stories live. Welcome to another episode of Tea Time as we analyze the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I have my very interesting co anchors, Ife Omai and Ife Oluwa Oshunke. Yes, yes, Hi. How you doing? Well, how, how you doing? <laughs> how you doing? How you doing? <laughs> yeah. We should go for that thing one day. Okay. We have to. Yeah. Um, but maybe by the time we'll be ready, she was done with the show. Yeah, so. you, you feel like it's going to end soon? Of course, she was planning to end it soon. Not oh. as soon as this disease is making her want to, but she was actually planning to end it. Right. Yeah. It's good to know when the time is, mm -hmm. when something is done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I was talking about your African vibe. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, so Rihanna is um, teaming up with a designer to auction her dress to the highest bidder to raise money for Black Lives Matter activism. The SI pink tie-dye um, dress she wore in an Instagram post last year is on sale for $376 for a limited time. Proceeds will also benefit Soleil's Women's Aid and the, vowel, and the voice of um, domestic workers. Rihanna also took to her Twitter yesterday to announce her participation in hashtag Blackout Tuesday as celebrities and companies posted a plain black square on their social media pages and stepped away from posting. She also announced that business operations at her Fenty, Fenty Beauty and Savage X Fenty companies will be halted for the day. Mm. That gown. That dress. God. Actress. I need it. That three hundred and seventy-six. Yeah, uh -uh. but it is so lovely. It is, and it, sh it should be for specific missions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it should be for specific people <sighs> with a type of curves. I wonder who's gonna get it though. That dress. No, no, it's, it's not just one. Like they're they're producing a lot, but not like plenty. So mm. the sales will then go um to charity. Yeah. But yeah, uh, it's interesting. Mm. To me, the conversation that she brought, because I think a lot of people kind of did the Black Tuesday, Blackout Tuesday very differently, especially here in Nigeria. And that happens. I'm not, I'm not going to act like I was shocked, but when people copy and paste, because I don't think people did research on what that was. I saw a lot of Nigerian celebrities post that, but still went on with their days to post more things. So mm. it was just like a black box. I don't think that's so what it's supposed to So tell us, what was it supposed They're to be about? They're supposed to actually just pause for the day. So no content out on back to like regular business you know what i mean it's like saying oh yeah and that was cool okay back to business it was supposed to be to pause yeah, things and cool. um and also go back to um your workers like i guess it's very different for nigeria because it's not a racism problem but um we still have issues here and i thought that when people were doing the hashtag they're going to so focus on that yeah like I, I thought you i thought people would like companies would talk about the rape culture or like you know the violence you know equip people tra that's what it was about to stop thinking to, you've already said it they did they don't even understand what they were joining mm -hmm. it was just a bandwagon kind it's of movement sad. so i mean i'm not surprised anyway mm. but either way I, I still feel like overall it was a success in the sense mm -hmm. on social media that there was a lot of awareness going on i mean you even if you were living on that rock and you went on social media you see just be seeing like black timelines you have to be forced to kind of ask questions and say oh okay what's happening even the people that copied and pasted and did black lives matter mm. and you know they're supposed to put the hashtag you see people in the comment section trying to educate them and mm. but i, I think the the, one of the problems again i'm not putting this to blame totally on her is siwa savage yeah. so she was supposed to be the forefront for Nigeria based on Universal yeah. Records and doing all that. But her explanation wasn't clear. Yeah. When I saw the post initially on her page, I was wondering what exactly is going, is going on. on, right? So if I was interested, I, I think the thing I would have done would not have to go and research more. But in terms of communication, mm -hmm. she didn't do a good job. Yeah. Um, in that it regard. makes me wonder if she wasn't also part of the people who were just copying and pasting a bad wagon. Because yesterday, I, I went to her page immediately to see what she was doing and stuff. But And I, I have to agree that I don't think she did a very good job in really leading that course. Because she was on about the fact that we must give her acknowledgement that she's on a certain hashtag we are tired. And she's on so you, you, I would think, oh, this lady is actually very interested in these, you know, movements and things like that. And then you didn't, like, find the need to just communicate things clearer and really lead the people that you are claiming you impacted. I don't know. It was just a bit strange. But either way, she's, at least she's using her voice for something. And I can't, I don't want to be greedy. Mm -hmm. You can't help but love American celebrities considering the fact that, um, 
this whole protest is going on right now. A lot of people have been arrested, and most of these people that are arrested are only fighting for their rights and probably won't be granted bail in a long time because they don't have money and all of that. Or, but because the law works there, they probably won't be held for more than 24 hours unless they have something to charge them with, right? But um, a lot of celebrities came together to drop to start donating bail money for random people, whether or not we know you. I know about the weekend, the one that shook me the most was the weekend. They dropped five hundred thousand mm. dollars for bail contribution. Janelle Monet jumped on in, Black Chris jumped Tegan. on in, Chrissy Teigen, a host of them, That's and um, mm -hmm. Gabriel Union and all of that. And they're not even making it look like there's also um, like. A charity website where you can donate as little as fifty dollars, so you don't have to have the hundred k dollars, five hundred thousand dollars, and all that. If, as little as fifty dollars, just put it there, and this is just for a good cause. And a lot of people are also building back, so the more they're destroying during the protest, mm. so people are also getting money to be building those things. So they said they know that these things comes with the protest; mm. things will be destroyed, but we can't leave our city like that. So as we are destroying, we must be building it back. That's so nice. I think that's very commendable. The bull. So big shout out to them. And um, I think the thing honest. that money cannot fix is the damage that has been done. There's been a lot of mm -hmm. people who have lost eyes. Um, mm. it, I don't know why the police keep targeting the eyes. The amount of people that have lost their eyes is crazy. Um, mm. I've seen too many videos where they are shooting people's eyes. Um, but I have to say this though, that it has now become a human battle. The people that I'm seeing on the protests are not just blacks. And it moves me a lot to see that even um, countries that are white dominated are coming out in their thousands to same. support people. And I think that we shouldn't forget that, yes, it, it is an oppression against black people, but there is a bigger community, a bigger community of allies that we have. And it's good to acknowledge those people. A lot of people that have lost their eyes that I've seen are actually white people. So um, it's very interesting to see that, you know, People are coming out for us and stuff. So I stand with everyone mm. that's that's going through all that. I don't, I don't want to bring it back to Nigeria, but even Nigeria as well, because that's not the topic. But even Nigeria as well, I think we're doing really well with um, having our male allies that are upstand, like that are not rap rapists or rape apologists, also coming to support the cause and stand with us and everything. I've seen a lot of people online. So you're talking of the Say No to Rape movement now. Yes, mm, yes. Okay. I've seen a lot of people online. I, I, the reason why I brought that up was because of the allies. I've seen a lot of people online that have gathered together and they're all male dominated that started this, that call themselves male feminists or something like that. And they're, um, you know, doing a whole campaign of teaching boys better and things like that. Like, that brings me a lot of joy. So it's good to remember those people as well to balance out the equation. Okay. Um, moving on, Billboard has released a list of most watched homegrown artists on YouTube. The list based on a year of local YouTube views focused on Nigeria, Ghana, Algeria, Tanzania, Angola, Egypt, Ivory Coast, Kenya, Mozambique, Senegal, and South Africa. For Nigeria, Nairamali was number one with 17.6 million views, followed by Davido, um, Bonaboy, Messi Chinwo, and Kiss Daniel at number five. Shatawale holds down at number one for Ghana followed by Sakodi, then Stoneboy, and then Hamilton. The late GJ Arafat still holds it down for Ivory Coast at number one. Um, to get the full list, do visit billboard.com or, of course, plustvafrica.com. Yeah. yeah. Um, so the list is interesting for me, actually for Nigeria. I don't know how, where's Tiwa Savage, where's mm -hmm. Yemi Alade, where's, and then it's Messi Chiwo, and of mm -hmm. course she's a gospel and not artist. And other lady. Sinaj. Yeah. Um, I think it's just for the, you, you know, um, for Sinaj, the song that has been making that wave is still Waymaker. Yeah. yeah. She has a lot of other songs, but that's the one that um, is stopping the whole chart. But this is based on just one year, according to what Billboard is saying, and for local views, actually, so... Um, it was interesting to mm -hmm. see that, and I, I think there, there are lots of lessons to pick from this. I don't want to shade anyone or say anything that we're taking out of contest, sorry, contest, but I would just say that whatever you have decided to do, just do it well and do it right. It does, you don't need to conform to whatever, any kind of lifestyle to actually get to where you want to be. And I think the other woman, again, on the whole list is the, um, the, um, the Hamilton lady. Yeah from Ghana. Those were mm. just the two on the whole Females, list that I yeah, saw. So yeah. that's amazing and kudos, kudos to both kudos of them. To yeah. them. It's very interesting, like you said. I think um, this type of thing really, it, it's very easy for you to get humbled by that, that you might not just be on the top for a long time. And that's why it's, it's important that while you're there, you use, you know, you use that platform in the best way possible, rather like your brag is, you know, moderate and everything. 
because the people that I expected, like you mentioned, even whiskey, like I've been on whiskey's neck this whole year. Like, what are you doing? I can't find you. Because I, I, I feel like I was one of those people that loved him from the very beginning, and mm. I watched him become something else. Really, this mm -hmm. is this is something I would have thought. Become um, something else in what sense? Um, I just feel like he's not that person that I liked anymore. He's still talented. I can't take that away from him. But the effort, the that ginger, that drive. You know when you love something so much, other people love it with you. I don't really see that as much. It's not really swagged out. He's still good and still a boss, but not just. It's not my thing anymore. Um, and this is the kind of thing that was I was this, expected. It was the hustle you felt. Yeah, about maybe that like you could say that like that. And I still see that hustle in David Doe. Like, in fact, I didn't like David Doe when he first started, but because he stayed so like constant Consistent. with that, it makes me fall in love with that. So. This is the type of thing I would have looked for whiskey in and things like that. So it's really it's, even his songs are kind of laid back. Yeah, right? it's give, like very mm, vibe yeah. Even like, when he does things like when he gets endorsements, I'm thinking yeah, he's going to really you know he does give us this whole vibe. I'm like brah, okay, you're boring me now. So um, this it's interesting to see that. But I I I have to, I like the fact that you brought up the women that are there because I wish Nimi was on the stream when we talked about it and mm. how. Um, you know, the industry is still quite male dominated. It and is. I think when you see things like this, the awards, people argue that, yeah, it's based on voting, but we want to see things a, like a this. a list you, of 55 people and yeah. you have just two women. Um, and it's good for us to be able to have this stat so that when we talk, you don't think that we're reaching for the skies because a, there is a lot of talented, very, very talented women that are consistent in the business, bringing out jam. So what is wrong with the system that is only promoting male dominant um, and something to think about but yeah I'm, I'm encouraged that we have something like this in Africa because it also what encourages the new people there's a lot of new um, artists on that list mm -hmm. actually and people like like the Angolans and all those other people Diamond that don't get Platinums is still number one in Tanzania yeah. I think he's going to be that number one for, for a very long time. long time who else is in Tanzania to yeah, compete I'm sure um, there's there were, no, no, they I had know, their I top five people. So, I said to yeah. compete mm, okay the other four the other four uh, well, they seem like they're a pioneer, like it's the one who showed us to the world, so mm. they they kind of not going. So let's talk it. about Ghana, Shatawali. Mm. <laughs> yeah, the three S's. He's a number one. That, yeah, yeah. And, and the three S's. Number one was um, Shatawali, two, two Sakodie, three Stone Stone Boy. Stone Boy. And I was like, come on, man, these guys are just dominating everything. But I'm glad Kofi Kinata was um, number four, though. Yeah, yeah number five. Cool. Um, number yeah, okay, Hamilton yeah, um, Hamilton is four, yeah. yeah. I, I like that. I, I like the list a lot. I think it's really put people on their toes that other people are watching. And this isn't something you can really like pollute if that makes sense because it's about the views. And then you can really tell if people are feeling mm. your music. Like mm -hmm. it's a good feedback for it people is. It is. who mm. have their art out there. And even actually for the 3S, mm -hmm. it's a good feedback because people have bashed them and like, why exactly are you the 3S? Yeah. But I mean, they're holding it down. So, it down. yeah, shout they're out to them. The work. Yeah. 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 Okay, tea time continues right after this break. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I decide that every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Now? <laughs> <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do Everybody feeling alright. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal are you. Mm. Akpala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi like woo. Sleeping early, sleeping early. Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Take it easy with your arrogance. you never reach Odogu. Now, David Obi Odogu. And this is coming from Idris Aldo Karim um, to Bonaboy. In an interview with Object TV, he said, and I quote, you never reach giant of Kogi. Take it easy. David o has been able to add value to lives in this generation. If I have to call anybody Odogu for this new generation, now, David o, God bless you, Bonaboy. You are very talented, but you know be giant of Africa. You know be Odogu. Take it easy. 
easy with your arrogance, end of quotes. That's just quoting that part, but it, it was a five minutes long um, five video. Five minutes, about 20 minutes. And oh, you spoke. went to yeah. YouTube, but no, I stopped on no, Instagram. 20 sorry. minutes, and um, he spoke about David O for at least 13 minutes of the 20 minutes. Mm. But um, <laughs> it's weird when it's coming from Idris. I mean, Idris is an activist of some sort, mm. let me put it that way. But sometimes his approach can be, yeah. you know, somehow. Or, uh, but I'm not going to take away from the things he said. Um, it's possible that Bonaboy has also affected the lives of some people that we do and not know. And he doesn't put it out there. He doesn't put it out there. But based on what we know and what we see, we cannot mm. fault anything Idris had said. Because mm. um, Davido um, has single-handedly carried a lot of people on his back yeah. and created stars on his platform. Yeah. And you can see that he's genuinely happy for these people and not trying to compete mm. with, with them. them. I think that's a very healthy environment. And I think that's the kind of environment I would love to find myself in. Mm. So um, even when we are giving him kudos for his kudos for his hard work and his passion for music, no one can take away the fact that we need to also give him kudos for rising yeah. by lifting others, basically living by his mantra. Yeah. I agree with everything you've said. And to top that up, I think it's also very interesting how pride makes you look ugly. Because now, mm. it looks like Burna Boy is very talentless. And Burna Boy, we can't rape Burna Boy and we can't do all these things. If Burna Boy didn't come out to make this statement, everybody would be disagreeing with the statement that, oh my gosh, Burna Boy is talented, yeah. Burna Boy did this, Burna Boy did that. We'll all be like, we're well, beginning music. to see people that are now deliberately going out to say, I did not like Dangote, yeah. I did not like uh, Udogo. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, this was mm -hmm. never happening before. Exactly. And that's why it's so important not to be prideful it makes like it just turns you ugly and i always i always used to like have that experience remember the first experience i had with pride was a pretty girl that i met in uni and this girl was just like super gorgeous until she started talking and i swear to god like her face just became ugly instantly mm. and i you like it's so true that's that a message. pride can make you look ugly and it, that's all i took from the story that wow but now boy see how you've just finished rubbished yourself because you can't just calm down tone your tone your tongue tame it say things properly you know there's other ways to like send your message across or just even keep your freaking message if nobody wants to hear it if it's not positive um and hide the insecurities because everybody has that i'm sure there's people in the comp in the industry that don't that find the video threatening or find him unworthy or undeserving but you don't have to always say everything that crosses your mind um and i really hope you can pick one or two things from this i'm 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 hoping because i really think Burna Boy deserves to still be rated, if that makes sense. I'm hoping that he can learn something from this and know how to like change communicate better. Yeah, just even if you don't change, just keep quiet. Or just and, communicate uh, better. Keep your opinions mm, to, in your circle. circle. I think he took yeah. back his phone because um, they were in charge of the social media. And then I don't so know. He took don't back know. his phone. <laughs> it, it became so bad now that they are now dragging his girlfriend yes, into, into it, it. And that is just not cool. Yes. And they said she's um, prideful as well, like. So I think they fit perfect. We've not really gotten that vibe from yeah. her because yeah. she, she doesn't talk much. Yeah, she's yeah. just doing her stuff on social media. I don't like, think, see how she moves. Well, I don't then, think so because Densia, she has like a, a Densia, group of friends. I don't know if you saw Densia's post. Did yeah, you see Densia's post? Oh, yeah, post yeah, we did. Yeah. Where she said, um, try to bully her as well uh, with a friend and talking about Nigerian girl. The video that Nigerian best friend, um, Stal what's her name again? I said Stallion. What's her name? Um, Steph London. Mm -hmm. The Niger you know she has a Nigerian best friend. Yeah. Her bestie is Nigerian, and then they were calling Nigerian girls ugly and um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The video. and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So you know that came back into the light, and I think um, that's Bonaboy's fault. But if if we want, to, I'm sorry, didn't share anything. Then just enters here and goes out of here because. Yeah, she's, she's not wanted. Coming from and everybody does that, okay? Does, For someone who's lived in other cities, it's place. very easy to make things about nationalities. But when they're saying an ugly girl, trust me, they have girls in mind that they're talking about. We just like to generalize it. When you live in a city that's like mixed and stuff, it's no longer about Elsie, it's about Nobody's the Nigerian ugly, you know. and it's about the Kenyan or whatever. I don't think, what I'm saying is I don't think that that statement or that conversation that they're trying to bring up is enough reason for me to mark her as like a terrible person. No, that that's why I said it's Bonaboy's fault, but... The old, that's how Idris talks to sounds like he comes in here and leaves here because uh, <laughs> Idris was like <laughs> a minute ago talking about David Doe in a very nasty way and now he's so apologetic and he's apologetic. When was a minute ago? We, we, what are you talking the, about? The um, Daily Momo. Yeah, he so. mentioned it as well. He yeah. said David Doe did something wrong and yeah. he came down at him and nobody no, is was, going that to was, say that that was, that that was, that was, that was, was not wrong. That, it was that, allowed that, and that he acknowledged it. how he said it. He said... Uh, 
you know, see, now it was like he was now trying to turn against Daily Momoto as well. He no. said, you know, okay, the, well, the, the, what ahead. he said mm -hmm. was, um, you know, say, you get the way with some bro self, they behave sometimes, you go, gotta show them. So, what do you mean that it was okay for Davido to be rude to Daily Momodu because of the way Daily Momodu behaved? Well, like, sometimes yes. your attitude can yes, actually exactly. bring disrespect. Yes, because so, yeah, that's the point. Is not just you like have to that. respect you yourself have to as well. It. So, a lot of people, well, I'm going to go to the reactions <laughs> on social media now. A lot of people are saying that he's trying to find favor with David Doe. Oh, I hate the, that. I that, hate that, that, that so much. That he's trying to find David Doe. And David Doe is not even acknowledging this interview because he's, he's making a joke out of him. I don't know if you guys saw David Doe's story yesterday. What did he um, post? David Doe, first of all, he said, uh, May your kunko carry your hair. Then later it was like, I ah, stole um, Mayor Kunze's um, P word. He used the mm -hmm. P word mm -hmm. and all of that. So How does that have anything to do with Idris? It was Idris. It was putting him in the picture. He said that um, he's using, he stole Mayor Kunze's hair. Like he's doing Mayor Kunze's like style. Like style. Yeah. So oh, it was, okay. and it was, um, what's it called? Screen grabbing the interview and putting it there. So it was insulting the man, and the man was out there hailing you all the way. And in a way, I caught the vibe. Is that vibe. really an insult? I caught the vibe. Is I said he used the P word. Like P-U-S-S-Y? Mm-mm. P -U -T -T I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay, so come see the P, uh, P N guy use and like okay, this is so stressful for TV right now. I don't know, but I'm just saying that I'm just listening to mm -hmm. what he said. I've not um, been online or following David o that much to know what his reactions were. Yeah, so but then he doesn't even need to acknowledge everything. No, you know, we said it the other day that when we were talking, I don't know, was it you? And I was no, saying I mean, like, that David is not a perfect guy as at well. All, he has please. his bad sides, but I think his good sides overweight. Let's, let's, yeah. Now, let's you focus know. on Bonner Boy. Um, and he kept on saying that the only reason why he feels Bonner Boy is proud is because he walked out on that interview that the BBC guys came mm. and all of that. So, um, Bonner Boy, the fact that we don't know the people that he's helped is not enough to say that we do not know. But like yeah. you said, we cannot fault David Doe because we see it. And David Doe, and I like what David Doe, David Doe too is also saying that if helping people is clout, if you people see it as clout, then mm. I love clout. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? So the guy has admitted that, look, regardless of what you guys say, if there's anything I need to jump on, if there's anybody I need to help, if you like, see it as clout, see it as clout. But um, at the end of the day, Bonner Boy should take a cue from this mm. because out of um, the abundance of the heart, the mouth speak it. So I think this is what a lot of people think. Yeah. For Idris' um, message, I think we sh people should just try to separate the message from the messenger and mm. listen to what he was saying because mm. he gave a lot of instances from when he had to house... And I hated that too. No, no, no. I, I don't think he was... You calling really people out. You didn't. I didn't. Okay, for and me, I, I don't think he was calling people out. I think he was giving you like a projection or how do they put it now so to tell you this has happened to this person and this person also he used that Timaya, to help he gave to Maya the first and he piece. also uh, admitted that somebody on. helped him as mm -hmm. well so he's saying that we actually need to be able to help each other to help each other grow so mm -hmm. it's not a case of him trying to let you know that he helped two face mm -hmm. or he helped he mentioned even Eddie Remedy and all that and all they had to do to help the people that were coming after them and they also did the same thing to the people that were coming after them mm -hmm. so he's actually just encouraging the culture that they video is breeding mm. so i don't think um if you don't like it Idris that much i think you should just take the message yeah. from exactly. it and that's what that's why i said bonner boy should just take a cue from this but yeah. don't really take it seriously because i feel if you ask me apart from the comment section i feel like in a way there was a little bit of botox kissing in this interview why why is he it why is it that men, i don't want to have that conversation about men but why is it that when a man gives you a compliment it's, 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 it's like you people don't get it often that you find another no, woman no, attached no. to it. He, he yeah. also okay. said he's going to get his graphic guy to print the t-shirt and put David Doe's number one fan. Come on. Yeah, he, okay. So what's the problem? And that's how we wrap up Thank this you. episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching and do send your opinions via WhatsApp to 0906005719 or tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. Remember, you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. Also, watch Tea Time on r 2 TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always we go to my amazing, amazing co-anchors, Ife Omai and Ife Oluo yes, Shukaye and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Flow TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Please do stay safe.